right, so here we go. I am about to record for What If Episode 3. Uh, this is how I do my intros and outros for the show. And I usually do it right here in my car. So I wanted to share that uh, with the people on Patreon. I thought it would be pretty cool. Um, but it's nothing fancy. You know, my podcast studio is literally my car. Um, most of the time I'm recording in here or in my work truck. So, you know, you don't have to be a baller to be a podcaster. You know, I, I record everything, everything on my phone. I do all the editing on my phone. Everything's done on my phone. So, um, you know, I, I'm just assuming that you guys think the podcast sounds pretty good, at least audio wise. Um, but I think it sounds pretty good. Um, maybe not perfect. It's not the Joe Rogan experience, but I think it sounds pretty damn good, especially for recording in a car and only using my phone to podcast. So here we go. Give you a little bit of inside scoop stuff here. So first of all, I use these headphones. These are literally like call center headphones, like from the 90s. I mean, no one uses these, um, but the sound quality is really quite excellent, and I believe I paid like under $30 for them, so, you know, I, I'm doing all this on a budget, and so hopefully that kind of gives people an idea that, you know, that, you know, you, you don't have to, um, you don't have to have money. You know, you don't have to invest in like a nice studio or, you know, super awesome headphones or super awesome mic, you know. Um, like I said, I record everything on my phone. So, here we go. This is how the intro and outro is recorded. Right here in the car. I open up, literally this is the phone's voice recorder app. This is what came with my phone. So this is what it looks like. Voice recorder, super basic, right? All right, here we go. Begin recording. <clears throat> mm. What If, Season 1, Episode 3. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Marvel Plus, the podcast devoted solely to the Disney Plus Marvel series. My name is Brett Scott, I am your host, and this is the show. And I'm going, I'm going to try and keep it a little short, this intro today. Uh, we got a nice long conversation with an awesome returning guest. Uh, but real quick, I want to hock my Patreon. So indulge me for just a second. Uh, I usually do this at the end of the show. But to be honest, I I'm not sure how many people listen that long. Uh, some of you may tune out right after the conversation with the guest is over. So, uh, But I'm really excited for the content that I'm putting out over there. And I wanted to let you know at the beginning of the show for a change. So, basically, what I put out over on Patreon is episodes that are covering movies or TV that is not part of the Disney Plus series. So, any of the films that come out in the theaters, um, any other series outside of the Disney Plus, talking about anything like that goes on the Patreon. Um, you know, and then a whole bunch of other extras and bonus content too, like behind the scenes stuff uh, where you can hear you know a bit more of the conversation than you hear on the finished podcast so it's essentially an unedited version of the podcast uh, a, a raw cut of the show with some commentary from me throughout so I'm calling that series behind the pod and I've got one episode of that 
over there on the Patreon already, uh, along with a Black Widow review and a video version of the Loki Roundtable. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys about what kind of content is over there. So if you want to go check it out, just go to patreon.com slash Marvel Plus. Now, on to business. You may remember today's guest from one of the WandaVision breakdown episodes. And he was also on the WandaVision roundtable episode. Uh, but he's a guy I've become fast friends with through this podcast. So I didn't know Kurt Schmidt from a hole in the ground before I started this podcast. I, I reached out to him online because, you know, he frequently commented on a lot of my posts and he had some interesting perspectives and he seemed like a big fan of the MCU. So I invited him one day on the show to, to do an episode of WandaVision and we just really hit it off, like outside the podcast. I mean, he, he's, he's just become one of my friends now. You know, I talk to him on a regular basis, a few times a week and that, that's something really cool about the podcast. You know, I, I've made a couple of friends like this, you know, a, a couple of people that I regularly conversate with and even more people that, that I talk to at least, you know, on messenger, or Instagram uh, on a regular basis. So yeah, man, like not only is this fun to geek out about the MCU every week, but this podcast has also been a really cool way to make some new friends. Okay, so we had a lot of fun with the conversation. Uh, I think you're going to enjoy it. Uh, let's bring him on, ladies and gentlemen. Returning to Marvel Plus, Mr. Kurt Schmidt. All right, ladies and gents, that is going to do it for the conversation with Kurt. Uh, some, something I did want to add, though, that Kurt called to my attention today. Uh, it seems that legendary comic book writer Peter David has pretty much the exact same opinion that Kurt has about this episode, where he wasn't really satisfied with the ending and how they didn't foreshadow that it was Hank Pym enough, you know, who was behind it. Uh, I kind of disagree, you know, and you heard that in the conversation. You know, you guys may not believe me, uh, but, but, but I've heard other people saying it as well. So I actually suspected it. I, I thought, hey, this might be someone using nanotech, uh, you know, or a very small person or an invisible person. So I feel like it was telegraphed enough, you know. Um, you know, it's not like, it's not like the, you have to know the MCU. And that, I guess that's part of Kurt's problem with it and Peter's problem with it, you know, is, is that you almost already have to be a, a huge fan of the MCU. It, it, this whole series is like a bunch of inside jokes. You know, that's what the What If series is. So if you're not already a fan, What If doesn't make sense at all, any of these episodes. Uh, but I guess, you know, to their point, they're, they're saying that, you know, you wouldn't even at all suspect Hank Pym because you don't even know who Hank Pym is or anything. Like, a, a newbie couldn't watch this show. And I'm like, well, a newbie shouldn't watch this show, honestly. Um... But yeah, plenty of people disagree with me, including Kurt, and also including Peter David. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the conversation, but let me know. You know, reach out on Twitter at RealBrettScott, or send me an email at MarvelPlusPodcast at gmail.com. And this isn't just for today's conversation, but just anything that you want to say. Any commentary that you want to add to this episode, or episodes past... I love hearing feedback from listeners, good or bad. And if it's interesting enough, I'll read your email on the show as well. Also, if you're interested in being a guest of the week, if you want to come on here and help me break down an episode, you can reach out at that very same email, marvelpluspodcast at gmail.com. If you're new here, don't forget to favorite or follow the podcast so you get new episodes every week as soon as they drop. And if you want to help the show grow, tell your geeky friends. Tell your geeky friends and share the episodes on social media. Also, your ratings and reviews over on Apple Podcasts go a long way towards growing the show. Uh, so if you're enjoying the show, please do me a big favor and leave a five-star rating and just jot down what it is you like about the show for a review. 
It doesn't have to be a long, thought-out review. Just say, hey, I like this about the show. I like that. I, I dislike this. Whatever you want to say. Again, you can find the Marvel Plus Patreon at patreon.com slash Marvel Plus. A lot of great stuff over there um, and, and a, a lot more to come. All these links will be in the show notes. I know there are a ton of Marvel podcasts out there. And as always, I, I really appreciate you continuing to listen to this one. Once again, my name is Brett Scott, and this has been Marvel Plus. So there you have it, folks. That's how I do the intro and outro. Um, I just cut that into three segments, and then I paste it in there with the conversation and uh, the, the transition points and all that. And that is it. Not really that hard. Um, unless I'm inserting some other stuff into the show. That's basically what I do every single week. I script that part, um, just the intro and outro, so I do not leave anything out. Um, you know, normally... Now, over on my... Um, daily BS podcast, I, it's, it's rarely ever scripted. It's just me talking. Same thing with the long lost brothers podcast. That's not scripted at all. That's just a conversation between friends, completely raw and unedited. Um, but for Marvel plus, I don't want to leave out key things. I want to remember, uh, to let people know where to find the show and how to reach the show and to plug the Patreon. As you saw, like I would forget these things. I would get so engrossed into talking about the episode or, or what have you that I would forget those things. So I always script the intro and outro to Marvel Plus episodes. Also, I just want them to sound more professional. You know what I mean? So anyway, that's how it's done. Hope you enjoyed this content. Uh, we'll see you again later.